Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We're going to do a very quick um, search around the stilt, just to just have a quick... What is... We're ha hearing light, all kinds of noises. Oh, we have a... I think we have a cybernetics salesman, a gutsmonger, if you will. It looks like our gutsmonger, and yes, they are. <clears throat> um, we will not be making much use of the gutsmonger. I'm pretty sure I have achieved the um you became uh achievement which is of course uh replace every single part of your body with um some kind of cybernetic um it's a, it's a good achievement i i enjoy it. those are the kind of achievements i appreciate um definitely gets you thinking a little bit about what uh what you want to do your your playthrough you know i'm gonna buy a bit of which would bark here not a lot we don't need that much which would bark outlives its relevance relevancy pretty quickly we will definitely check out some ingredients we will a hundred percent be wanting to make use of cooking and gathering in this playthrough um but like i'm not sure oh bone meal oh i love bone meal and congealed love i love congealed love and there's a couple of achievements associated with this one including uh falling love in love with yourself which I'm not sure how that works. Um, it might be that we want to, uh, I guess this doesn't work for congealed love because what we need is a love injector and then use it on ourselves uh, or something to that effect. And then maybe fall in love with one of our clones, something like that. It's, this, you know, it's, it's tricky um, as is a lot of things in code. Uh, definitely I want some sun-dried bananas. That's going to save us a trip to, uh, Ezra. Although, you know, Ezra is, is multiple purposes for going to Ezra. But I, I appreciate a lot of this. We could also get, uh, get some, um, Dawn Glider. But I don't think we're ready to fight Dawn Gliders. I always underestimate Dawn Gliders. But let's continue here. You're famished. All right, we'll eat, uh, some food. Preserve our fresh goods. Um, do a quick check. I don't like to do... Um, oh, there's a tinkerer here. Uh, I guess they're they're okay. I don't... The, the thing... The problem with the tinkerer is that they will continue to tinker. So we've got a um, schematics drafter. That is a good thing to have. It's always good to have a schematics drafter. And what I like to do here is um, make a pin uh skim uh yeah just skim and that way i can uh basically come to this zone i know exactly where the skim person is the skim soft drafter and we can do another one here uh skim two if there's another one here, it's fine that probably, you know, if there's something else interesting here, that's fine. The, the, the most relevant thing here is going to be the Skimsoft drafter. Um, generally speaking, that is like the main reason I go to the stilt is to buy data disks. Uh, we got ourselves some, I think a chef. Yeah, we got a chef. And is this a glove person? Yeah, we got a glove salesman. Um, might be worth chatting them up. Let's see here. Glover. Let's talk to Glover. Glover, my, my, my boy. Painted boarskin gloves. Um, I, oh, we can just buy a regular of uh, boarskin gloves. There's not really much reason to do so, except that, you know, boarskin gloves are useful. Actually, we need, we could use a couple of those, to, couldn't we? Those will offer us, I, I think actually they won't offer us more protection. Um, but the point is, if we don't have two, then they bo they do nothing. So having two sets of um, arms means that you, you do need to have uh, double the protection in order to get that AV bonus. And it's still red, so I'm assuming... I don't know what that means, honestly. Uh... This a item's AV bonus is being averaged across all body parts of the same item. Well, I mean that's that's fine. That should mean that we're we're getting the AV bonus. If I'm let's, let's just see, see for a sec. If I take that off, yeah, we're at AV three now. So um, 
this is this is uh, having two of those on is off giving us the extra AV bonus. I didn't mention it, or I didn't really talk about it, but another achievement we're going to be crossing off the list in this run is the uh, up, level up a single mutation to like level 15 or something uh, ridiculous. I don't know if the inclusion of the ego bonus um, like helps that. I don't know if it counts if, if it's upgraded um, artificially via the ego bonus, but I don't think it's going to matter too, too much. Um, oh, I do love that electric snail shell. If we want that, though, we're going to have to sell something. So I'm going to sell the undercane. I never really make use of the undercane. Maybe maybe I should, honestly. But we didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, the undercane is kind of tricky to get a hold of. If you, you know, besides the one that, uh, what's her name gives you. Is there another store here? There's an apple salesman. Dromag Caravan. That can be very good. But also very annoying because they tend to like to wander. Um, Alright, they're right in front of us. What what kind of stuff can we get from you? Uh, Cristille goods? Taco Suprema. Herberries. Alright, this is very good. Very good. Um, this, is a, this is a very good Dromad. We got lucky again. Lucky again with the Dromad. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Not sure if I can really, um, buy this. Well, actually, we could sell our wine. That's 20 drams. That, that wine is going to take up more space than, than the, uh, silver nugget. And what else could we sell? I don't think we can really sell much, to be honest. We have a lot of wine, vine wafer sheaf, but that's fine. That's by design. Uh, we could sell our scrap. That kind of gets us close. We have the Deva recoiler. I don't want to sell that, though. We could sell the tattoo gun. I don't expect to use that, really. All right, let's, let's do that. All right. So we have a Droman salesman here. I'm not, I'm not going to bother marking them on the map because they like to wander. Oh, we have a gunsmith. Could buy an Isakari rifle, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done spending, but it's good to know. Might actually want to mark the, that on the map. Let's go ahead and do that. Gunsmith. Uh, maybe one day there will be like a built-in interface for uh, being a bit more specific about map pins. And I honestly think that... Um, Merchants of all kinds should be like automatically marked somehow like if you enter the six day stilt It should ask you like who are you trying to who do you want to see like who are you trying to talk to and then it just like dumps you right in front of the uh, The the person that you're you're wanting to talk to I think that could do uh, that would be a lot of you know and save you a lot of heartache um, All right, so I think we're done here. I don't know. Did I hand in all my Russia floor? Yes, I did so we're good. I have 76 drams. There are hostiles nearby. Excuse me. Okay. Probably on the tile below. Uh, we should be able to make it to... Well, I guess I could... You know what? We don't need to, like, roll the dice here. I have a tool. Uh, let's go ahead and use it. All right. Now, um... I believe I, I have a, a trip to Grickgate to make, unfortunately. And this is this is still gonna prove to be really annoying, but it, as it is usually, it's usually annoying. And we got lost in the mountains. Oof. We should be able to take on this rowdy crew. Uh, what do we have here? Crimson Hood, Stun Rod. Gentling mask. Um, gentling masks are interesting. Oh, weird artifacts, huh? What kind of weird artifacts are we talking about? What? Where is this weird artifact? Hold on. Go to... Get items F9. It said there was a weird artifact on the ground. 
but it might have been mine. I do really like the gentling mask, honestly. Um, it's it's actually a really good item, but it is a immense pain in the butt. Um, I, that being said, I think it does sell for a decent amount, so I will take it. Also, I should equip my snail shell harvest. Harvest? What do you mean harvest? You break down a witchwood wreath into some witchwood bark. That's new. Didn't know that. Also, I don't know why we're holding this. Um, I guess I died at one point. Yeah, I must have died because we, we did get a glow sphere at one point. I know that. Light source? Yeah, we don't... Okay, yeah, we don't, we don't have it anymore. So, uh, yeah, sucks. We do have our, our uh, friend here who's still helping us. Feed companions. Which is nice. But, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to try my best not to get them killed, but I, I am consigned to generally not doing a good job of that. Generally, um, I get my friends killed, and it sucks. I would like to keep a friend. That's one of the reasons I don't um, turn on any of the pets, is because, you know, I always get them killed. Amber-tipped staff. Interesting. That's actually as good. 3D2, that's actually better. That's a better, um, I'm assuming this is a mace, like a cudgel, yeah. This is actually better than what I've been using. And also I can cosplay the guy from Jurassic Park. Yeah, 3D2, it's better. Weird. Yeah, that guy. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Um, okay, we want to rest. At, at the very least, I can rest until my companion is healed. That's the least I can do for him. The least you can do for your companions is install the clever mod, the clever girl mod, and uh, rest until healed. Replace your uh, button with a better button, basically. Also, our, our friend leveled up. We are also pretty close to leveling up. I think, um, honestly, I should I should follow my... Oh. Cool. This is bad. I am frozen solid for another few turns. Okay, cool. Freeze grenades. I wish I could have got that freeze grenade. Uh, I should follow my own advice and like not try and follow the storyline until we get to a point where we're just like ridiculously overpowered um but that you know that is safe progression that's the kind of progression i like um but like i say it doesn't really oh there's this novice of the sightless way i almost walked into his range we regain our bearings we're, we're leaving oh look at this zone kind of want to let's deal with this zone and i want to try and um, kill a couple of these leeches. The reason being is leech corpse corpses are actually important. Now, on the off chance we do catch a disease, uh, it would be a good idea to keep a couple of leech corpses here. So that's a it's a weird reason, but it is a good reason. Notice some nearby ruins. Sure, let's go check out the ruins. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Well, we're seeing boars. Um, what are these little things? Trash, pile of debris. I keep seeing these little flares. I'm seeing boars, and so there's a not a non-zero chance that there's going to be a slug snout. The dreaded slug snout. We have the perfect amount of water right now. Things are going pretty well. Better than last sesh. I was not having a great time last sesh. I was dying a lot. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? There you go. And those salt flingers were uh, also pro proving to be a real pain in the behind. 
Um, we're, we are... We're not out of... We're not in danger of running out of water, but we are... Um, losing water a little bit. Okay, we're... Weird, but I mean, like, the jungle uh, wayfaring is one of the first um, wayfarings that I ever take. And reason being... You know, I just realized we could we could uh, cook with some bananas and then the psychometry will let us pass through all of the doors in this area. Could be worthwhile. Um, but it was going to say, what was I saying? Yeah, jungle wayfaring is one of the first I, I take. And so traveling in the jungle actually ends up being safer than traveling in the hills. I've talked about this a lot, but I it's not lost on me that people will probably find this episode and start here as opposed to starting from the beginning, which is totally fair. Um, but basically, uh, I, you know, the hills outlive their danger quite quickly, but they never outlive them being like a pain in the butt. Like, I'll never go to the hills to grind. It's not worth it early game. It's not worth it mid game. It's not worth it late game. It's not worth it early game because you're bound to come across something actually pretty dangerous like a salt hopper. Um, you know, early game, a salt hopper can really take you out to dinner. Uh, dinner and dancing with the devil and, and, and thus you have... Oh no, our friend died. Oh, that sucks. Thus, it's a, it's a real bad time. You're going to have a bad time um, if you roam around in the hills early early game okay so that's that's just true um mid game it sucks because the hills are very labyrinthine and it's hard to navigate them and you generally don't come across anything very valuable in the hills and then of course late game it's even less valuable and you basically don't get any experience from anything including salt hoppers so the hills and the mountains just kind of suck forever uh, hence why I never, ever, ever take wayfaring, because there's not a lot of mountains or hills on the map. You can generally avoid um, going to the hills or mountains at all points in the game, and so I do uh, avoid that. Okay, we're going to Temporal Fugue. We're at um, three clones now. Things are starting to look pretty good. Aha. Uh -huh. See, that's why I stayed on the staircase. Because I knew there was a very good chance that I was going to uh, come across a novice of the sightless way. Uh, uh, exploit or not, um, I would argue that being able to bore inside someone's brain for as like a free action is basically exploitative. So I'm going to exploit the resources I have by um, breaking line of sight with them in the best ways I have. And the best ways you have of doing that are either moving into a separate screen or uh, in the case of the stairs, just like, you know, moving up or down the stairs. This may be something that has changed in the future, but I kind of hope not because those are the best tools you have for um, fighting the novice of the sightless way and that main the main gripe of of them is that they can basically explode your brain for free so um, I'm wondering actually I should do a quick check is there anywhere I haven't been this is the only zone here that oh this actually and that and that so we could cook with um, sun-dried bananas and um, we would a gain access to a few doors and we would also, um, we could learn how to make chem cells. That would be the main reason. I wish I could learn how to make lead slugs. That would be nice. Oh, we got some weird artifacts. Let's check these out. Flaming club. Ooh. Uh, it's only five pen. Uh, remove cell, and then what do we have here? Compass bracelet, nice. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we won't equip it yet. And then we'll examine this. This is a chem cell low. Um, that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I guess I, I, by examining them, I actually have a chance of breaking them. 
So what I should have done is actually just um, cooked with the sun-dried bananas. And uh, that way I get the psychometry and then I can use the psychometry to research or examine them for free. Um, all right, so grenades. Let's learn our grenades. What? Wait a minute, what? I'm not seeing a way... Do we know how to make a fungicide grenade? How come I cannot use psychometry? Mm, what? We have psychometry four. You read the history of artifacts by touching them, learning what they do and how they were made. Unerringly identify artifacts up to the complexity tier six. Learn how to construct identified artifacts up to a complexity tier three. You must have the appropriate tinker power. Oh. They've changed it. They've changed psychometry so that you cannot use it without have, having the tinker ability. Um, this is probably a correct change, and I understand the... Oh, there's a chain gun in there. All right. No, 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 no. I don't want to go in there, though. Um, this, is a, this is a good change. Uh, it makes sense, and I don't disagree with it. However, I am still upset. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's always been like that. But the reason I'm saying that isn't sandbagging necessarily so much as it feels like it's something that should have always been true. Is you should have had the tinkering ability uh, in order to learn how to make something regardless of if you have psychometry or not. Um, it's, it, it doesn't really make sense that you can learn how to make something when you don't know how to make stuff. Okay, bad, bad touch, bad, bad touch. Lots of turrets right now. Let's heal. We still have psychometry, so I can, I have a back door here. That being said, we are being thoroughly thwarted by mirthworms. Okay, can we, we can, we can chance another touch there. Um, let's go ahead and use a which would bark. We are. As long as I don't go down, that's where the door is. Okay. The, oh. Okay. There's a chain gun in there. It's the problem with walking into those kind of uh, doors. And of course, if I auto explore now, my, my dude is going to be absolutely determined to go into that room. Chain guns, they are a thing you can encounter on your way to Great Gate. Yeah, see, you know, Auto Explore, I love it sometimes, and then other times, it's not so good. I just, I just want to check what's in here. Oh, Labor Security uh, Card. Yeah, you don't want to do too much grabbing because uh, they get a free action every time you do that. So I don't want to auto explore because if I do, my dude will be determined, absolutely determined to check out uh, the chain gun zone. Okay, let's temporal fugue. Ah. Someone, oh, I'm not, okay. Not that I'm being shot at, it's that my clones are probably accidentally shooting me. As they love to do, they love to accidentally shoot me. Ooh, look at all of those friends. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Um, the Templar Squire hits with a weird artifact. This is what? Poison gas? Corrosive gas. That's okay. Corrosive gas, not so bad. Poison gas, much, much worse. Poison gas is uh, really a, a problem. Can we proselytize this lad, you think? Yes, we have a uh, Templar squ squ squire. Well, hmm. We had a Templar squire for about five seconds there. That was good. Get some lead, lead slugs. What do we got here? Oh, wait a minute. I saw that I saw the option to peer into it. I guess that's just a, as an option to examine it. It doesn't give you the um, blueprints, maybe, but it does let you uh, know what it what it is. 
That's what I'm assuming. That's I, I would I would assume I that the um, the Cov devs have c checked every box when it comes to this stuff. This is that's what they love to do. You know, like they love to make sure when a feature is implemented that they um, you know know every single angle of that feature and then check all of the boxes. Uh, you stop resting because you are hungry. Okay. Cannot cook with hostiles nearby. Well, I assure you there are not really any hostiles nearby, but... Oh, no! Okay, break line of sight. Uh, that kind of sounds like a slug snout. It is a slug snout. Um, we have temporal fugue. Use it. <sighs> okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't panic. Do not panic. I would love to proselytize this robot. Ouch. Slug snout is a problem. Slug snout really doing the Lord's work in trying to kill me right now. I think they have stopped seeking us. So we're going to go ahead and rest and then we're going to wait the rest of our time of uh, Temporal Fugue because they, that will be the only way I get through this. They might have died. One can only hope. We have some leather boots. Lacquered furs. I don't think we have any boots right now. We have some crocosins. Crocosins are very nice. Offer you some unshelled reptile rip. We do have uh, a laborer security card now. Oh god, chain gun, please. No. Don't do it. I think we're I think we're home free here. Passed by a small boulder. Okay. We made it. We made it. Great gate. Something just dinged. I think something is shooting. Yeah, something is shooting them. A grit gate has like defenses now. Okay. Complete the quest. Play stamped disc in tray. Accept quest. You have received a new quest. And not yet, but please let me talk to the dude so I can buy myself a recoiler. We have a small gold flecked tube and a small stone. We want that. So a bit expensive, but we're gonna, I'm gonna use up, well, first of all, we're gonna sell some of this stuff. Um, I would I would love to sell the stun rods, but I actually could really use some extra chem cells, so I won't do that. I think we want to sell the agate and we'll just take the change because we don't have a lot of water right now. We should, I think I still have psychometry. I do not, okay. Well, we didn't break the recoiler, so that's good. We're, okay, we wanna go to melee weapons and then replace cell, remove cell, and then replace cell, remove cell. And then we have another artifact to check out, including this blaze injector. I do love the blaze injector. Helps in some very cer uh, specific circumstances. So, and we did just get a uh, solar cell, which is great. We'll throw that in the Grit Gate Recoiler. Worldly toy of Ikesh tin Tinker Home. Uh, is there anything else here that we want to buy? Yes, lead slugs. We want to buy lead slugs. That should be enough lead slugs to keep us going for a very long time. And I wouldn't mind buying that pickaxe as well. It is generally a good move. Uh, what could we sell? I wanted to learn how to make that compass bracelet, but I guess that doesn't matter. We'll sell the stun rods. Stun rods are okay damage, and they're, you know, I know they do something good for us, but I don't really want to mess around with that. Um, since we are now in a safe zone, we have a new checkpoint, so I'm not going to bother using the recoiler to, um, you know, go home. What we'll do is we'll check out the rest of the Grit Gate uh, 
zone. And I'll be a bit more aggressive since we have a safe spot now. Impaled. Very good. Iron buckler. I don't think... I don't know if we want to do... Um, shields. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to go in there, really. Have a dread tuber. Dread... Dread tuber. I could take harvesting. We probably have some experience uh, or skill points to spend. Could take um, harvestry for some dread troopers. You are famished. Okay. And our light went out. All right. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Well, there aren't really any hostiles nearby. Cook. We are moist. We need uh, we need a new light source. I swear we were better, game was better about equipping new light sources once our old one burnt out. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but not a big deal. Okay, well, there's lots of stuff to uh, check out here. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Can we proselytize this lad? No, I'm gonna run away. Our own lads have a really good chance of killing us. Seems, oh, it's like the slugs now. All right, you know what? I should have, um, I should temporal fugue and have them run in and kill that uh, chain gun. Yeah, that's actually a really good experience, too. There's a Betel in there. 100% that was worth it. Oh my god. Petty mortal, place five portions of congealed love before me. I shall reward you with heightened skill. Well, that's actually... That sounds pretty worth it. Um, so we, we have our first Betel quest. Uh, I'm gonna actually call it there. Seems like a good place to call it. We got we got to Grit Gate and we found our first battle. Um, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.